saying it's May Day, which is the day of workers, and our immigrants have always been uh, our, the, the working backbone of America. Um, and right now our immigrants are under attack. We're here with Make the Road today to talk about the proliferation of private prisons and also detention centers. That and who is it that's funding these prisons? And, and how is it that they're doing it? What's happening? So this is J.P. Morgan Chase and a whole bunch of banks that are financing private prisons and I detention centers. calling out Wells Fargo and BlackRock. Wells Fargo. All these, all these uh, banks are actually bringing financing, making it possible for these detention centers to sprout up. They are, uh, today, Make the Road is releasing a report that everyone should read, really highlighting the issues like deaths um, that are happening in these detention centers. Ter terrible abuses, terrible human rights abuses. Uh Trans people are particularly hardly hit, hard hit in Cindy, these prisons. You were saying that this was really blood money. I mean, you're using some really tough language. Yes, I mean this this whole industry that is exploding right now is propped up by debt from these major banks, and these major banks should not be investing in this. This is human suffering, as Carlos was saying. The, the death. We had people uh, lining up the bodies of people. You know, s symbolic. Uh, silhouettes of the bodies of the okay. people who have 20, died in these prisons. 22, 22. people who have died in, in ICE detention. That's right. And those those are people, those are families. They're coming from our state. They're coming from our city. And that's what we're standing up right now with all the immigrant uh, organizations that are supporting uh, the lives of these people. And that this is enough. And every leader should learn about this, get educated, and stand with us. And so this yeah, is as an governor, industry that Wall Street should not be investing in. As governor, what would you do to stop it? I would... Uh, I would see that our, our, I would pressure that our state money would not be invested in, in Core Civic and the GEO group, these, these really heinous groups that are proliferating these private prisons. I don't think this is something that state government should be invested in.